My name is Ricky Carranza. I'm originally from the Philippines. So at the moment, I am still a, uh, a dancer, and I teach dance in, in schools and also around the world. I hold dance workshops for uh, different levels, uh, even professional. Uh, I, uh, I've been in the business of dance for a long time. We were among the first crazy ones <laughs> to do the street dance in the Philippines, and you probably have heard how Filipinos are so attached to dance and music. So all over the world, there are Filipino dancers who are, you know, leading the this 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 dance culture. So yeah, I am still a dancer. I'm still a, a choreographer, but at the same time, I'm also a filmmaker. I have my own film festival in Los Angeles called uh, with my partners there uh, called Divulge Dancers Film Festival. In short, DF2. And I also have a new one here coming this September. It's another film festival called HEFI, Helsinki Education Film Festival International. It's the first film festival focused on education. As we all know, Finland is known for having one of the best, if not the best, education system in the world. Yes, absolutely. I think the, the biggest probably is, you know, uh, the... Um, the, the the culture of uh, the social aspect you know I, I before I moved here I was living in Italia I live in Florence for about 11 years and as you know the the difference is quite big you know like Italians and Finnish so I think that that was the biggest for me I love of course the uh, the politeness and you know of and, and you know the uh, courtesy of the Finnish. You know they are very polite all the time and very you know they're very courteous. You know, uh, as you probably know, Italians are very expressive and you know like almost like Mexico. You know, <laughs> almost like Filipino. So, so I think that was the biggest one. You're like, oops, okay. Uh, I don't sometimes understand what they think because they're so quiet and they don't. You know, they don't say it, you know, straight to your face. I, mean, I would rather have that one, you know, like straight to us because, you know, like, okay, I know what you think, you know. And so sometimes you have to do some deep psychology to understand, you know, the people here. But uh, overall, I think that uh, you learn over time and then you learn to adapt and adjust. Uh, I think it will uh, really condition the minds of the, particularly the new generation to be more uh, global thinkers, you know. Uh, what I meant by that is, you know, uh, you, we learn from each other. We learn from each other's culture, and so there's always good side. And of course, you know, what we call like a little bit like, you know, like uh, uh, repressed side. So uh, in that particular sense, I think in, in what, I, what I do of bringing dance, cultural art, basically, cultural art and uh, filmmaking uh, stream through or um, use as an educational tool I think is uh, helpful to the new generation here in Finland and of course abroad as well you know as we all know that everyone is attached to the phone right now you know everyone is watching movies videos and I, I think that you know the, the the reading habit is you know diminishing it's not good you know but um, I think we have to take advantage of the modern technology, and that's what I try to do. I know that people are more into technology, visual, uh, so I said, okay, let's use hmm, visual technology. And at the same time, dance has always been a vibrant, you know, energizing, you know, uh, draw to people. So I said, okay, let's put dance, cultural entertainment, and filmmaking and then use it, use them as an educational tool or a platform. And that's what I try to do. I, I wanted to create a platform for filmmakers and educators, not just in Finland, but around the world, to collaborate and, and do something together for the improvement of education. We know that you know, the population here is, <laughs> population is small, and also I think the living condition is different from from places like Cali or Manila, you know, like uh, even from Italia, where there's a lot of people, you know. Manila alone, we have about 30 million. That's already 
times five times six of the population of the whole Finland. So we're talking about you know a lot of ideas, a lot of you know conflict, and I think that's the word right there, conflict. I think to create a good movie, you need to have spectacular conflict. You need to have like you know you know frightening you know uh, problems, and and I think that in Finland, I think it because of the safe environment and you know the the the, the stability of the, of the country economy wise and also we have a very small low crime right here and i think that's the reason why finnish are good technically as filmmakers good i mean like cinematography perfect you know color correction perfect the story i think the story is not engaging and I know where they concentrate to make it engaging. They, and, and I've experienced it myself because I'm in contact with filmmakers here and also you know, I'm in contact with the Finnish Film Foundation. And they normally get depressing, dark movies because that's appealing to the people here because it's a dark place. It's a dark, it's a lonely place. If you don't move, nobody's going to talk to you. You have to initiate the conversation. If you don't take it, you will be sitting with a, another person for hours without talking. It can't happen in the Philippines. Cannot happen in, in, in Italia. I don't think it can happen in, in LA too. <laughs> I think that's the, I think that's, that's the, the area that uh, we, we can improve yet, uh, improve on. That's the, the content, the conflict, the life, the substance of life, I think that's missing here. I think that's what we need to focus on. And that's why I'm, I'm crea I created this Hefi to give more input, more views, more uh, uh, scenes and experiences of conflict from other people. Filmmaking is about life. And life is about good and evil. <laughs> that's what it is. When you watch a movie, you're always watching a conflict between good and evil. Star Wars, Batman, Superman, whatever it is, there's always a conflict. And the more you understand life, the more you try to keep a balance of life and the perspective of life, the more spectacular, engaging films you create. And so th that would be my take. And of course, you know, I am here. You know, they have their own standard here in Finland. So the idea is to improve the um, uh, the um, the process of uh, evaluating a film and also enjoying the film. Basically, it 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 empowers the viewers. It gives them the power to make intelligent choices in their films. We're, we're getting ready now to make the, uh, the demonstration. Uh, we're preparing for that, you know, to make like this, to make a, a beta version, to make a demo version. But everything is right now on, on paper and we've been working on it for a long time. We've been studying it. We've been asking people opinions about it, filmmakers from around the world and, and, and others, you know, viewers. So, you know, what would they like, you know, what are they, uh, what do they think you know that would be beneficial or would, would be good uh, that would improve the the quality of watching a 